didn't get billing. I saw it just had my name up there. <laughs> but that groove is so cool. Who played? You know who played that groove? I'm not sure cool. what that. Ka, boom, boom, ka. Not it's sure awesome. what that came off of. Quibus Portkitier is here with me. You're getting better and better. I, I, I am very much. What's up, guys? He, he hasn't been around uh, America for some time. For quite a while, yeah. Well, you came back just in time for the NAM show, yeah. which was pretty amazing. Awesome, as uh, always. We had a good time. And we also have coming up on drumchannel.com interviews you did at the yes. NAM show. Yes, awkward and interviews, as only I can. No, it was a lot of fun. It was great. Ran into some awesome people, saw some awesome stuff. So. That's going up tomorrow, I think. Part uh, one is tomorrow. Yeah, I think over the next three days. Over we're the next three it. days, and yeah. Rain and Bozio was there. We have more coming up. So you'll get to see a whole bunch of what was going on oh, at yeah. the NAMM show. Um, Adam sits really low here. I he feel does. like I'm sitting in a hole. This is kind of like <laughs> Vinny Calyuta's, like, you know, layout because he sits totally. low also. Totally. Uh, Adam Coons is going to be here at 6 o'clock for an intermediate to advanced lesson going mm -hmm. over, I think it's paradiddles on the kit, a subject that is covered a lot, but something you can never get enough of. And it kind of is. Um, more for the intermediate if he doesn't do anything really fast because uh, mm. uh, you can apply paradiddles. It's one of the favorite rudiments that you use on a drum set, correct? I actually, paradiddle is, six stroke roll is, is my... Yeah, I know six, yeah. is your, six is your main thing. That's my one that I'm obsessed with, yeah. And if you're at, uh, wondering what we're talking about, hopefully we got a lot of you people watching us on YouTube and thank you for joining us because we are streaming simulcasting on YouTube and drumchannel.com who have never played drums before. So we call this the beginning drum lesson, meaning that you're not showing up for your first drum lesson. You're having the thought go through your head that you might want to be able to play drums, but you never played drums before. Exactly. And exactly. that's part of the mantra of what Drum Channel is about, is to introduce you to the idea of playing, not just the drum set, but learning how to read rhythms and play rhythms. Because no matter what instrument you choose, I guarantee you, your teacher is going to be so happy yeah. if you show up at that lesson and you can kind of play a basic rum, drum beat. Yeah, exactly. The coolest thing about this for me is, I mean, I've heard so many people say, um, what do you do for a living? And I say, I play the drums. And they go, oh man, I wish I played the drums. I've always wanted to try playing the drums. And I always ask them, why? Like, why didn't you never just give it a go? And so I think that's what, that, that's what excites me about this, this simple, basic lesson that we're about to play where you, where you get taught the, the first groove that you're going to play on a kit, and I love that. That's the coolest thing for what me. What did it feel like the first time you sat down and played? That's why it makes me so excited, because it changed my life. The first time I sat behind a kit, the guy showed us this groove. I think it was the... That's all it was. And I sat down, and there were like probably 20, 15, 20 people in the room or in the church. It was in a church at the time. I was like a shy guy. I don't quite know why I actually even attempted this, but I always wanted to try it. And I tried it and I played it and I was obsessed. It just changed my life. So I want everybody to experience that thing because it's, oh, it's amazing. The cool thing right now is we're not asking that you have a drum set. This first yeah. lesson uh, is one of the very first beginning lessons for students when you go into drumchannel.com and you look at our lessons. Uh, it's something that we recorded uh, some time ago but I'm going to play it for you now, and then we're going to come back and, and talk about it. And it's just tapping on your knees. You're just yeah. tapping on your hands and your exactly. knees. And it explains what part of what you're playing is which part of the drum set, so you'll get a feeling for that. Yeah. Um, Greg uh, Carmen is involved in the beginning of this lesson. He actually starts out playing the beat that you're going to play. And uh, Chad Smith with the Chili Peppers uh, throws in a little bit of what he's doing also. And I talk you kind of through it. So. Just sit there. If you have some pots and pans or you have, you know, some wooden spoons, if not, just sit there with your hands and your knees Oops, and try this out. Uh, yeah. Don't be shy. Try it. If you get it, uh, when you come back, next week we're going to have another lesson. And after you watch this, we're going to tell you how you could win a drum set in just a couple of weeks. So uh, this is especially for people who've always wanted to play drums. And haven't played before. And haven't played before and they don't have a drum set. So... Where you're sitting right now, check out the lesson, play it on your, on your hands and your feet like this. You don't need a drum set. Um, and then we're going to tell you right after this lesson how you can win, that, you can win a drum set. And also, if you have any questions, you can, you can send, them, send them to us via the hashtag um, on Twitter, DC, DC Live Chat. I'm struggling to speak. I haven't been in America for a while. <laughs> DC Live Chat, hashtag DC Live Chat on Twitter, and we'll keep an eye on it. And then after the show, we'll take some of the questions and answer them. So if, you, if there's anything in the lesson that you see that you want to explain better, then we'll try our best. But that's after the lesson. So Maybe we can even get it to explain it in Afrikaans if you need to. I'm gonna, I'll yeah. try my best. <laughs> Here's the lesson, and we'll be right back. Uh, it's about 10, 12 minutes long. Practice it, and we'll see you in just a minute.
Hey guys, this is Greg Garman. I'm uh, about to go on tour with Selena Gomez this summer, and uh, this is the beat that I'm going to probably play mostly the whole tour. So, uh, you know, songs like Love You Like a Love Song, Naturally, they all have this same uh, staple groove. So this is it right here. So Don and Chad Smith are going to help you break down this beat. Once you get this beat down, you can play drums with the band. Hi, I'm Don Lombardi, and you're going to be playing that exact same rock beat in just a few minutes. Both Greg Garman and Chad Smith, who is the drummer with the Red Hot Chili Peppers, will be helping me show you how to play that beat. It's used on hundreds, probably thousands of songs. Let's have Chad Smith show us what that beat would sound like if you were to play it in a band and see what he has to say. Start from the ground up on this one. This, my friends, is a drum set. It's a beautiful piece of art, a wonderful musical instrument, and I'm proud to say that this is the fa my favorite thing to do ever. And playing drums may end up being one of your favorite things to do, too. But for right now, we're going to start just by tapping on our knees. You don't need a drum set. In fact, this lesson is for everyone. It doesn't make any difference what instrument you play. Keeping a steady beat when you're playing rhythm is everybody's job, whether you're in a rock band or in an orchestra. And if you're a drummer, it's your main job. So let's get started right now. We're going to tap our right foot, but I don't want you to be tapping it like this with your heel on the floor. Let's think about being in front of 100,000 people in a stadium playing in a rock band, they're not going to hear you if you're doing this. So I want to get your whole leg going, where you're going to be coming down on the ball of your foot. So along with me, start tapping your leg, and I want you to count with me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Think of it as your heartbeat. This is the bass drum when you sit behind a drum set. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're going to do it again right now, and Chad Smith is going to be playing. Join him and play along with him. One, two, three, four. All right, this might seem really simple. You're just lifting your leg and tapping the ball of your foot on the floor, but the bass drum is the foundation of a drum set. It's really important to keep that really even and really steady. So let's try it again for a second. Tap along with me. One, two, three, four, and we're going to get faster. One, two, three, four, faster. One, two, three, four, faster. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four three, four, all right, stop now. Do it again with Chad Smith and see what it sounds like when you're playing in a band. Okay, now it gets to be a little bit more fun. We're gonna add the right hand in on your knee. We're going to change the counting from one, two, three, and four to counting one and two and three and four and. Just count along with me for a minute. Out loud, one and two and three and four and. Now you're going to play your right hand in your knee with everything that you're counting. One and two and three and four and. So if you're sitting at a drum set or we're pretending we're air drumming, the right foot, we got the bass drum going. The right hand, we're going to be talking about that being the cymbal. And then we'll add the left hand in a little bit, which would be the snare drum. So let's get this right hand going and counting out loud. One and two and three and four and. 
Okay, let's go back to what we just did, playing the bass drum on one, two, three, and four, but I want to change the counting to the new way to count. So the bass drum's going to go on the actual number, and then I'm going to be counting the and. One and, two and, three and, four and. One and now, watch my foot. Be sure I don't go one and two and. Just play the actual downbeat or play the number. One and two, keep going. Three and four and. Add your right hand in. One and two and three and four and. Let's try counting another way. If it's easier for you, together, right. Together, right. Together, right. Together, right. Together, right. Right. Count with numbers now. One and two. Now you got to be real careful that you're not doing this. One and. Be sure your foot's not going with your hand. Remember you're playing two with the hand and one with the foot. One and, two and, three and, four and. Now pick it up a little faster. Two and, three and. If it helps you, you can count. Together, right, together, right, together, right, together, right. One and two and three and four and stop. Okay, now we're going to do the exact same thing. Count out loud. Keep your foot going on one, two, three, and four. Keep counting one and two and three and four and. Keep playing your right hand on your knee, but play it along with Chad Smith and hear what that sounds like if you were sitting at a drum set. Now, same thing, but we're going to pick it up a little bit in speed. I'll count out and start with me. One and two and three and four and. Get a little faster. Two and three and four and. Together right, together right, together right, together right. One and two and three and. That's fast enough. One and two and three and four and. Now, what would that sound like if you were sitting behind a drum set playing with a bass player. That's going to be a fun way to practice it. Count out loud. Play one and two and three and four and along with Chad and the bass player. Ready? One, two, three, four. Okay, our right foot is the bass drum, our right hand is the cymbal. Now we're going to be adding the left hand in on our left knee, but that's going to be our snare drum. Let's take a look at what it looks like for just a quick second here. The foot has been playing on one, two, three, and four. Your right hand was playing on one and two and three and four and. Now we're going to add the left hand in on the second beat and the fourth beat. When you say two and when you say four is when we're going to add the left hand in. But we had a little kind of a, a cheating way of counting earlier when I had you counting together, right, together, right. Now I want to give you another little kind of a cheating way of counting, which will help you play this beat. Say with me, together, right, all together, right. Together, right, all together, right. Now, let's take a look at it, and I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm playing together, right, all together right, together right, all together right. So when I say to all together, I'm playing all three at the same time, my right hand, my right foot, and my left hand. Be sure the bass drum is just going on one, two, three, four. The right hand adds in two and three and four, and then you add the left hand. 
1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. So you can always go back to the very beginning of this lesson, play it all the way through again so you have a little bit more practice time. But I'm going to get that going a little bit faster right now. And I'm going to count it between our little trick way of counting and counting it with numbers. So let's start out again. Together, right, all together, right. Together, right, all. Now I'm going to count numbers. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So everything is coming together on two and three and four. Together, right, all together, right. A little faster, together, right, all together, right. Together, right, count with numbers. One and two and three and four and. Okay, let's have a little bit of fun. Practice it now with Greg Garman and kind of pretend that you're the drummer behind the drum set so you can hear what it's going to sound like. Play with Greg, and we're going to start at a really slow tempo first. Keep counting out loud. If it's easier for you to say together right, all together right, then do it that way. Or if you can do one and, two and, three and, four and, do it that way. Let's play with Greg starting really slow. One, two, three, four. All right, if you've got it going, here we go. One and two and three and get a little bit faster. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Play it again with Greg at a little bit faster tempo. One, two, three, four. Okay, you've got it. Count out loud. Definitely count one and two and three and four and, or together right, all together right, together right, all together right. Let's try it a little bit faster with Greg this time. So I'm going to play this beat and then I'm going to lay out, but I want you to keep tapping along. So here we go. I know we covered a whole lot in this lesson. I expect that you're going to go back through it a couple more times, starting with just the bass drum, adding the right hand in, and then adding the left hand in. Also, look at the transcription. It'll help you line things up. Fun thing is you can practice this anywhere. If you happen to get a pair of sticks, or if you don't, just air drum in the air, just like you're playing this beat, and feel that pulse. Check out Chad Smith, who's air drumming it, too.
We throw in a little drum jam there at the end. That's actually from a drum channel show that we did uh, some time ago with a lot of great drummers. But they weren't playing too much differently than no. that first rock beat. I mean, the first rock beat is you know, a mainstay for what you hear on a whole lot of records. And if you can do that, you can get together with your friends, your family, get somebody to pick a little bit of bass, a little bit of keyboard. Um, the main thing is you're playing drums. And you can watch this all week. We're going to keep it up on YouTube all week. Um, so you can come back and practice it again. And as you're doing it, just get a little bit more comfortable and stay, stay really nice and relaxed. Yeah. Obviously, the, the right-hand part that's on the, the right knee is what he was playing on these two closed cymbals, which is called the hi-hat. Or you could play it over here on the uh, ride cymbal. And the foot is, of course, the bass drum. And the left hand is playing the snare drum. We're not worried about the left foot at all right now. Um, as far as getting into uh, the feel of playing this beat and doing it over and over again, uh, any suggestions you might have? I think, I think a lot of people will be able to, because I've come across this many times, a lot of people will be able to listen to the groove once and go, well, not a lot of people, but I think a fair amount of people will be able to go, you're playing ba, 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 okay, cool. And they will be able to play it right away. And a few other people might have to actually count one and two and three and four and, and actually do that. But there's so many different ways that you can approach this and the end result is the same. It's awesome, it's so much fun, it's so enjoyable. I think the coolest thing about this for me, like I said, is the fact that you don't need a drum set. You can sit in front of your computer at home, um, in front of the TV, you can just press your foot down onto the floor and hit your legs and you get pretty decent tone actually, especially well, in this room. Let's see how you do it. And again, you can count one, two, three, four, one, two. Of course, he's making it look simple because he's going really fast. Three and four and <laughs> one. But, and then you can kind of hum a song. Think of a little bit of melody that will go along with it. I can't think of anything right now. Get some, I think, Many drummers, in fact, most of the drummers we've had uh, on drumchannel.com, when we talk about them getting started, uh, especially when they started playing at a young age, yeah. just get a couple of wooden spoons and you can get something that kind of sounds a little bit like a cymbal. You can get something that sounds a little bit lower, uh, like a, a pot, uh, a couple of different <laughs> pans, and a frying pan and a pot. And, yeah. uh, and if you get this down and you really do it well, again, next week, we're going to show you lesson two. And then two weeks after that, we're going to pick a winner. And, and we'll tell you next week what you have to do in order to win a drum set, a complete drum set with cymbals, everything, a beginner's drum set. But this lesson is for beginners. Exactly. I mean, really beginners. So we expect that you don't even have drums. But if you can do this, if you can do what we just showed you and go back over it a couple of times, I mean, that's the advantage of being able to play it over and over again. Exactly, exactly. Uh, so you get it comfortable. Even put on some records while you're just there. and just Yeah. You know, you used to air drum, right? Totally. Yeah, I, I air drummed for, for um, six months before I got a drum set. I just put headphones on. I had two sticks. No idea what the flip I was doing, but it was so much fun. So I just keep air drumming until I got a drum set eventually. And then when I actually sat down behind the kit, I could actually play a little bit because I got the muscle memory down while air drumming. So it's really beneficial, for sure. And in case you just landed here from another planet and you don't know who this gentleman is, <laughs> you know his name, but he started putting videos up on YouTube after he started playing yeah. many years ago and yeah. now is the most viewed drummer on YouTube. And he's very humble, but I'll say that on his behalf. Uh, it's, because it's a little awesome. awkward for me, sitting right next to Don while he's saying it, but I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and it has to do with learning how to play these basic beats, air totally. drumming, and hearing what it sounds like. And having fun and playing it along with the song and pretending like you're the drummer in the band and closing your eyes and playing along with your favorite bands. And that's pretty much what I did. And I just filmed it and uploaded it. And again, uh, if drums isn't necessarily your instrument of choice, whatever instrument you choose, rhythm is going to be involved. Mm -hmm. It's a part of everything you do, even in life. So whatever instrument you choose, uh, when you see a great player playing saxophone, trumpet, you'll see him tapping his foot, just like we're talking about tapping the bass drum. 
Yeah. And that's an even pulse because that tells him where he is in the song. Exactly. And that puts him in line with all the other musicians. And there's nothing more fun for a drummer than to look out there and see the guys in the band tapping their foot. Because and, the, he and the knows, crowd going like this, crowd really feeling the pulse as well. That's, that's it. Yeah. yeah right. Uh, totally. I mean, who makes you dance? It's, it's the drummer. It's, it's the drummer Absolutely. and the band. And that's that steady, steady pulse that you want to convey. Yeah. So I hope we've encouraged somebody out there. One guy in Des Moines, are you? Are you in, uh, where are you? South Oshkosh? Africa. South Africa. You could be anywhere in the world. Absolutely. That's, that's right. <laughs> uh, small town in South Africa. Where are you from? Himansdorp on the Eastern Cape. Ah, so you could be anywhere in the world. And hopefully we've inspired you by allowing you to just do this first beat to let yeah. you know that you can do it. And we are so excited that we're going to pick one of you and, and actually give you a complete drum set in a yeah. couple of weeks. So, Scout's Honor here, you know, you're not a drummer. You know, we just want to have somebody who has never played before <laughs> do this and show us how they do it. And, yeah. uh, and we'll tell you how we're going to choose and how you're going to enter the contest uh, next week. Next week, same time, Tuesday at 5.30. Tuesday at PST. 5.30. That's beginner lesson number two, okay. which is in, in some ways easier than this one. But it just will give you two options that you could play. Yeah, exactly. So you'll really be able to sit down with a band and, and yeah. show it. So practice this one. Practice. And then next week we'll show you guys a little bit of a variation. Sounds a little bit different. Also so much fun to play. And in three weeks, Chad Smith is in big trouble. I mean, <laughs> if you saw the Super Bowl, uh, this is what you saw him playing. And you're, you're learning how to do it. Yeah. Uh, of course, there's a little more to it than that. A uh, few years of practice. But this is the basics of it. This yeah. is the heart of what you're going to be exactly. doing. Exactly. We're going to be uh, having another lesson uh, coming up, which you'll be able to find on YouTube or on drumchannel.com. It'll be live here in a couple of minutes with Adam Coons, mm. who is a great young drummer. Um, not only did he start studying at a very, very early age um, with some very good teachers, he went on then to study uh, with Al Velasquez, and he studied with Greg Bissonette, went to Cal State Northridge. He interned with us here at Drum Channel, uh, I think before he even started college, and then he graduated from college, and now he's back here working with us. So any questions you have uh, during the course of the day at any point, yeah. you can certainly email us, and he'll get back to you with answers. So yeah. He's kind of our, our teacher in residence uh, in order to help you on a daily basis. And that's what we're here to do. Absolutely. So we're going to take a quick break uh, for three or four minutes, and then Adam's going to be back to play on his drum set right here. Uh, sitting very low. Uh, <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thanks. <laughs>